Hello guys, back again here. While I'm doing the uh, beer reviews, I figured I'll do one more for today. And this one is the Yao. This is their pale ale version. Now remember last time we did the orange tangerine, I believe. Now this is just their regular pale ale. Okay, this is made from the Yao Brewing Company. And the commercial description is the same. Uh, I'll read it in a bit. This comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. 5% pale ale. And the commercial description says craft beer has power to connect people. Connecting the soul of the place with the spirit of the like-minded people. And uh, once again, the ingredients, you know, they're going to use the water, malted barley hops yeast. The hops are Citra, Hallertal, Blanc, and Eureka. The yeast is California Ale Yeast. The malts are uh, Carl Pills Amber Pale. Okay, if I said that right, please let me know. Fatsoi Yao, the enthusiastic Yao. No one can match the way this Yao obviously pursues their passion as a at a fever pitch. So similar description on the tangerine, but this is their pale ale version. So not much to say about it. Five percent. Let's give it a try. I've been wanting to review this one for you guys for quite a while. And uh, remember, not too aggressive on the pour. I got it all in the glass, no problem. No mess, no fat, no, no mess, no fuss. We good. All right. Now, like I said, Yao means friend in Cantonese, Chinese. Yao. Hoping, Yao, you're my best friend. Alrighty. Let's get the nose on it. It smells like a typical pale ale. I'm getting more of a uh, <clears throat> malt profile in this one than I did uh, the Young Master, obviously, because that was a lager. This is a pale ale at 5%. This is, you know, like a, a good session beer to hang out with your friends. And uh, it's not going to blow the hair off and the socks off. And it's not going to, you know, if you have enough of these, you might be stumbling. <laughs> but let's not hope that happens. Uh, let me get my, uh, adjust my lighting there. But and without further ado, let's get a taste on this one. This is the Yao Pale Ale. The version of the pale ale. Cheers. Mm. That one's quite decent. I'll turn my AC on a bit warm in here. That one's quite decent. Uh, lots of. I wouldn't say lots of, but there's a hop profile there. It's not like um, in your face hops where it's like, whoa. It's, but it's decent. It's a pale ale, so it's not going to be hop explosive, if you will. But it does, it does taste fairly decent. And uh, this one is all right, actually. I like it. And uh, like I said, there's a couple others they do. Uh, but the newest one was the Tangerine IPA. And uh, that one's really nice. That one's nice. So let's get another sip. Fairly tasty. Fairly tasty. I like it. I like this. This, would, like I said, this would go good with a, a summertime barbecue you know out, outdoors with your friends you're having a barbecue 
or sitting by the beach and you got a you know you're in the shade and you got a nice cooler pack full of these and a glass yeah this one would be ideal for that uh, that style of life if you will but uh, like I said this one is uh, brewed here in Hong Kong and uh, I really like it to be honest it's it is what it is, you know, it's, like I said, it's not going to, uh, rip your head off, not like the, uh, the mango monkey one I did, or, uh, the, I did like the stone, uh, movie lions one, I, I did that one, that was really, really, really good, hop forward, that was very hoppy, that was lovely, that was a lovely bear, but uh, let me get another sip on this, and I'll let you know what I think in the final chug. Mmm. Very easy to drink. This one is very easy. You're not going to, you know, go, Ugh, or, Ugh. <laughs> But, yeah. This one's all right. This one's all right. It's looking good. Um, the food pairing, what I would eat with this, you could do a nice, you know, hearty Asian cuisine. Or even if you go to your local burger place and they sell this on tap, you have two or three and you're hungry and you have a burger with it. Perfect pairing. You're going to go home and you're going to have a full belly and sleep. That's what will happen. You'll be a lazy person after you. You know, drink a couple of these and eat a big meal. You'll be tired, I promise. You'll just relax and forget about everything. But um, I do enjoy it very much. And like I said, I'm going to come back with the final grade, the final chug. And I will tell you what I think. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back. I got just a little bit in the glass. Uh, it's it's decent for what it is. You can find this beer at your local bar. Or even at your local 7-Eleven if they carry it. Usually they carry the Pale Ale, the uh, Tangerine IPA, and their lager. So as of all I know, they make three... Uh, different styles and each one's been delicious I did like the tangerine IPA uh, I hope they get into like the bigger styles uh, where they the bigger ABVs the bigger bolder flavors I'm sure this company will over time you know they just started so I, I like him I like them and if I go to a bar and restaurant and this is the only thing on tap, I'll take the, excuse me, I'll take this over a, you know, a standard macro. Same price. I'd rather have this. But uh, final chug, guys. Uh, this is the Yao Pale Ale at 5%. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. Very clean and fresh. It's crispy. And you can see the lacing on the glass is pretty good as well. So they're, they're, uh, trying to step up to the, uh, craft beer industry. They just, like I said, Yao, uh, they just started to, uh, produce more products. The first one they did was the lager. Then they did the pale ale. Now they're working on which they have produced the uh, tangerine IPA. But I hope they can make bigger beers, uh, you know, in the future and step it up a bit. You know, and I would be more than happy to review it. But as far as this one goes, guys, it's a good summertime ale. Once again, it's a summertime beer. Uh, it's good for you know having a barbecue with some nice hot dogs and burgers and steaks and go perfect with it a nice big fat cooler you know stacked full of these with ice and they're cold and refreshing so for what it is i'm gonna give it the 
I'm on the fence between a six and a seven. I'm going to go six and a half. It's, I uh, wouldn't say, well, depending on the beer. Beer is drinker subjective. So I should be kind because they have all the information. Let me look here. They got the best before day. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it the seven. I'm going to go with the seven. It's a B minus. It's a B minus. It is what it is. It's nothing that's going to send the hair back, blow the hat off. You know, it's not It's not like one of those, you know, the big beers that I've, I've uh, reviewed in the past. But this one is worth trying. It is what it is. It's, hey, it's just a nice beer to hang out with your friends, have a few of these, have dinner. You'd be all right. Anyways, thank you for joining me on the beer review. And like I said, I will have more updates. And I will try to uh, bring new material uh, to the channel. So stay, stay <laughs> subscribed. Please subscribe. And make sure you comment on anything. If you want me to do a beer, I review it. No problem. Okay? Anyways, take care. I will see you on the next beer review. Bye-bye.